True Comforts Limited has signed an MOU with Adidas to jointly develop high-performance physical training footwear for the Indian Armed Forces. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has commissioned Indian Coast Guard ship Samudra Pratap, the first of two pollution control vessels in Goa. The Defence Acquisition Council has approved the overhaul of Indian Air Force Mi-17 helicopters, extending the service life of the medium-lift fleet till 2040. The Indian Navy has urged defence innovators to study octopus biology as inspiration for next-generation unmanned and manned maritime platforms, reflecting a growing focus on biomimicry in defence technology. India has cleared an $8.7 billion defence package from Israel, covering SPICE 1000 kits and missiles like the 250 km rampage. 400 km range Air Laura and 300 km range Icebreaker missiles for the Indian Air Force. The deal includes technology transfer that will enable indigenous production. Armenia has shown interest in the Brahmos supersonic cruise missile after its combat use during the May 2025 India-Pakistan conflict, where it demonstrated high accuracy speed and operational reliability against critical military targets. Armenian officials have said that the conflict marked a turning point for BrahMos missile, and for Armenia, it offers a credible deterrent, capable of rapid high-precision strikes against hardened targets without large-scale force deployment. The pre-bid meeting for selecting the development come production partner for the indigenous Hale UAV program will be held on 9 January in Bengaluru. With the bid submissions due by 28 January, the program is set to develop a 6-ton class unmanned platform for high-altitude intelligence surveillance target acquisition reconnaissance and strike missions. This initiative will boost domestic expertise in UAV design propulsion autonomy and certification, with the chosen partner engaged throughout development and production. Just days after signing a 293 crore rupees emergency procurement contract with the Indian Army, India's private defence manufacturer Nibe Limited has showcased the Suryastra multi-caliber rocket launcher system. The Suryastra system is based on the Israeli Pulse design, that is mounted on a BEML high mobility 6x6 platform, and the launcher is designed for high mobility rapid deployment and shoot and scoot operations across diverse terrain. Under the emergency contract, the Indian Army will induct launchers capable of striking targets at ranges of up to 150 km and 300 km. The Ministry of Defence has set a firm 2026 deadline for the gas turbine research establishment to certify the indigenous dry cavalry engine for India's Ghatak unmanned combat aerial vehicle program. Successful certification will clear dry cavalry for integration into the first Ghatak prototype which is expected to roll out by late 2029, with a maiden flight by late 2030 or early 2031. The DRDO chief has stated that the first prototype of India's AMCA will roll out by the end of 2028, with its maiden flight planned for 2029. He added that the AMCA has moved beyond the conceptual stage and is now on a clear time-bound development path. The program is progressing through parallel development of the airframe avionics and flight critical systems to avoid past delays, with lessons from the Tejas program being directly applied to compress timelines. It is to be noted, the AMCA rollout was earlier expected in 2027, and this new timeline indicates a one-year delay in the program. Safran CEO Olivier Andres has confirmed that the GTRE Safran jet engine for India's AMCA will be developed in a scalable 120 to 140 kN thrust class. The 120 kN variant will power the baseline 25 ton AMCA Mark II, while a higher thrust 140 kN version is being studied for a heavier and more capable future AMCA derivative. Discussions continue within the Aeronautical Development Agency and the Indian Air Force on a larger AMCA variant requiring greater power, payload capacity, internal fuel and enhanced avionics cooling, and the 140 kN jet engine would provide the power margins needed for sustained supercruise, higher maneuver loads and advanced sensor fusion.
He also added that the engine will not be a variable cycle engine, but its core architecture will be designed to allow future upgrades and potential evolution toward adaptive cycle technologies. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark dropped it.